Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike here. It's another day, it's another video. Don't mind that. That looks horrible right there. But what we're focusing on, yeah, lies beneath here because I have a gas problem. Ooh. <laughs> If you have been following along this uh, Bringing Back to Life series of the 560 SEC, the W126, you know we've had a little roadblocks here. Oh gosh, I love that. Did you hear that? The sound of the door? This car is a billion years old. Boom. And it still sounds like a vault when you close the door. Here's the issue that I'm having though. Okay, remember we have fixed the idle control valve. We have fixed the um, vacuum leaks in the car. But now the issue I'm having is she doesn't like to start. So let's, let's do this and listen. See, see no likey starty. It'll take two or three or four times. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, well that was two times. Sometimes it can take three or four for this girl to fire up. So the fix is super easy. It's something you can do in your driveway without even lifting up the car and you only need like two tools, maybe three. So we're gonna go underneath and we're gonna show you what's going on. Well, let me show you what's going on. This is where the fuel pumps live. I'm under the uh, right side passenger seat-ish area under the trunk there. You have two fuel pumps. You have a nice big fuel filter. I replaced all of these, okay? That's how we got the car started many, many videos ago. But these little pieces right here on under this end cap, okay? It's called a check valve, and this is what it looks like right here, okay? There are two of them, and what happens is these parts can fail, and they keep the fuel from going, you know, gravity kind of comes into play, and so the fuel kind of flows downhill. Well, these things are supposed to keep the fuel up by the fil by the engine. Sometimes they fail, so the fuel comes all the way back here to the pump, and then I guess it could maybe even go up, depending on how much pressure there is, go back up into the fuel tank. But these things are easy to replace, okay? So I'm hoping these two little pieces, and I'll put the price right there. There's your price. To remove them, all you need are two 17 millimeter, look I'm even using the one from the toolkit. 17 millimeter, yes I like Craftsman, wrenches right here. Okay, so you take this off and you hold the inside one and then you unscrew it and you do the same thing over there. This is easy to do. I'm hoping this is really going to solve my hard start issue. Alright, let's see how it goes. I do want to say that I have the fuel line from the uh, tank down into where does it come? It comes right around into, uh, into here. Um, no, it's up on the top. Yeah, it's right up over here. I have a, uh, I have a blocked off, so the, there's no more fuel that's going to get out. I'm not going to drain the tank. I'm going to drain just what's below my uh, fuel line block. Okay, let's see how it goes. <laughs>
Okay, she is as tight as can be. I gotta point out one thing though. Let me move this here. So when you're tightening these bolts, okay, Mercedes gives you a little point right here where you can fit. What is it? No, it's a 21. It's a 21 millimeter. And see how it goes perfectly right there? Yeah, that way you can tighten the banjo bolts up as tight as you need, okay? And then there's one, of course, on the fuel filter right there, which is where you want to put, I think that's a 19. And so I did that the same here, right there. Boom, boom, boom. I tightened them up and we're good to go. No leaks, no nothing. And the car actually started the first time when I did turn the key. So let's put the little protector on. All right, super easy. Thank goodness we have just regular Okay, bolts, steel screws, whatever, metal screws. And this goes just like that. See, there's one there, and then two, three. And it literally just goes right up there to kind of protect this from the road grime and all that kind of stuff. And then you have a hose. This hose right here, come here, that will go through the little loop right there. So you put that on, you button it up, and you are good to go, okay? Well, I'm back here. I do want to check. Ooh. Okay. Boy, the more projects I do, the more projects I see. I'm probably going to want to replace these. That's the first thing Kent, Kent Borgma does on all his videos. And see how that's kind of stretching right there? I don't know if you can see that. Focus with me. Yeah, we're going to have to get her some new brake lines. And I do want to replace the differential fluid because I don't know how long that's been there. It's probably original. And I think I have a leak in my exhaust. See? See dustly? See dust drips? Dust draperos for my Spanish speaking friends? Yeah, draperos. I'm making that up. But look, yep, gotta figure out what to do with that right there. <sighs> the more I look, the more work I see that needs to be done. Yay, me. Just a quick shot of what it looks like when it's all buttoned up. Okay, we got the bolts in there. We got the little tube going through the little holder right there. Looks really, really nice and neat. Okay, so let's start it up and see how she does. We inside the car. Yeah, we inside the car now. So let's see what happens. All right. I still love how this happens. Hello, how you doing? How you doing? Okay, let's turn it on. Pretty smooth. Wanna put the gas on though. She doesn't like that. Okay, so when I push my pe foot on to pedal, 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 she's She's not liking that at all. So what have we done? Well, I'm getting kind of upset. Here we go. All right, that's the dilemma for today. I'm actually in a different car right now, you know, working in an apartment. I can move one car and then I play car tag and move another one and then move another one and then bring another one in the garage. So on the SEC and the whole stalling issue, I need some help. If you could let me know what might be the problem. Yeah, it's been a no shower weekend. Ugh. So if you have any ideas why, when I push it in park, it seems to want to rev and everything just fine. In drive, not so much. When I push my foot like about this far <coughs> and then it finally kicks in and then it goes pretty good. Um, but if you have any clues, I think it's got to be a fuel issue now. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. But thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share, please enjoy, and please comment. All right, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye.